So just doing a real cheeky video here because while I was taking apart this PC and trying to put in a uh, new motherboard, so this is a brand new unused 10 megahertz XT motherboard and it was giving me some disk boot errors. I was thinking, well, what's going on here? Why can't I get this to boot with my compact flash uh, XT IDE? So I thought, oh, I've got this hard drive kicking around which I've never used. It was in another machine when I got it and um, it had the controller card with it as well. So I thought, right, I'm just gonna, you know, stick this in the machine, this, this XT case and plug it in. It's, uh, it's actually an originally branded IBM SD506, I'm assuming. And, and to be honest with you, I absolutely thought this disc is definitely not gonna work. And sure enough, I span it up and it said starting MS-DOS. And I was like, what? But then, of course, it just stopped. So I got a few bytes into reading the, uh, the disc and then, of course, it all ended. So I left it running and I remember this distinctly on my old XT when I was um, when I was a kid. I used to let the PC warm up when the hard drive started to flake out and I noticed that sometimes when you let it warm up the hard drive sprung to life so it's like a, a stuck stepper motor and I've actually heard of people smashing the end of a large screwdriver on the side of a old hard drive and the, the stepper motor or the the motor comes back into life and everything's everything's great. Well, I didn't even need to do that. I just left this thing um, running for a while and then came back and restarted the machine and then guess what? MS-DOS started up. And I haven't even had a look into this yet, but you can see there's um, MS-DOS 6 on here. For some reason, the auto-exec has some awful garish uh, color scheme on it. You can see that strange prompt. But um, you know what, I just I just love finding somebody else's machine. No, I'm not nosy or anything like that, but I just love the fact that you know somebody else last used this PC um, <clears throat> by the looks of the date stamps uh, in 1995. I don't know if you can make that out. I'm sorry, but this is a real rough and ready video. I'm just doing this on my phone. But you can see there's a date stamp of 1995, and yes, I am. I'm on my floor, and it's being, the monitor's being propped up by a printer. It's definitely um, work in progress. So there's things like uh, Word, Word Star, Word, sorry, Word Perfect on there, um, Dunks Folder, maybe. I'm gonna. If there's anything private here, I'll, I'll stop the video, but. Uh, That looks like some sort of document file. <clears throat> so um, yeah, I just I just find this stuff fascinating. I find like finding somebody else's computer and, and looking through the the files on this old machine is just like a, a snapshot in time. I've I've got absolutely no idea what DCI is, but you know that's the that's the beauty of it. Disk commando. <laughs> Disk map, very good. What else have we got on this machine? I'm I'm literally uh, finding all this whilst I record this video. I thought, no wait, I found this. I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and uh, and get this recorded for posterity because there's every chance that the uh, the machine might die at any time. Dr. Genius. What is this? Media Cybernetics. Device 7 Hercules. Well, it's not got a Hercules display in it. It's got a... It's got a EGA card and so I'm going to control X it. But I'm really curious as to what Dr. Genius is. So... <coughs> 1982, uh, 1989. Here we go. Um, well, I'm just going to say it's uh, an eight, 
Well, that's probably a PA, PC, so I'll go for that one. Um, it's um, it's an EGA. I don't think it's actually. It's not an ATI Wonder because I had troubles with putting my ATI Wonder in this machine, but it is an EGA. But I'm going to go for a IBM standard, um, and I'll go for. 16 color at 320 by 200. Um, absolutely no idea what's going on here. Sure, let's coordinate the display. Select printer, no printer. Scanning device, none. I've got the feeling this is some sort of graphics. Tool, Dr. Genius. Genius were a company that made mice back in the day, I seem to recall. I had a genius mouse, I think. IBM Enhanced Graphics Adapter. X and Y, not possible. Welcome to Dr. Genius. Wow. Oh, it's like a paint shop. Oh, cool. How do I get that? How do I get text? I want the text. Haha, -ha, I don't know what I did there, but awesome. I love the sound of these hard drives. You can actually hear the bits flying off them. <sighs> How slow they are. So I'm going to make a, a fleeting guess here and I reckon that first is the first choice um, <coughs> word processor and um, it was a it wasn't just a word processor it was a, yep there we go so you could have all sorts of um, yeah it did comms it did spreadsheets reports I don't I don't even know what a report was but yeah and it did some sort of comms here so yeah, I think you could like use it like some sort of lap link it, I used this on my very first PC. Uh, which would have been about 1990, and it was absolutely fantastic. So really, really professional software. I loved it. I, I wrote all my documents, which would probably be I was probably about eight or nine. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, get an existing file. Let's see that um, that file dunks dot full. This is this is what's it going to say in here? No records. Ah. Yeah, first choice was awesome. Really good piece of software, and it's it's awesome to see this just sitting here on a on a machine. I'm surprised at the lack. Well, so far the lack of games. Some sort of um, com software allows for Z modem. Oh goodness, lots of options. I had absolutely zero expectations of this machine running. So it just goes to show, you know, anything's possible. Oh, there's the park disk utility. Now, I um, I remember having to park the disks before I switched off the machine back in the day. So that's also quite interesting. I, I don't know whether you have to do that or not. I can't honestly say I remember. What's What's this arcs business. I think it just looks like Peaky Unzip mm -hmm. and all those sorts of things. Yeah, everybody knows Peaky Unzip or Zip. D. Mm -hmm. a, so a sorted directory. Yeah, probably not the most exciting hard drive I've ever come across. It doesn't even seem to be that many documents on it. Um, Oh, that's nice. 23 kilobytes free. And also, this has got um, it's got DOS six on it, so obviously um, <coughs> it should tell us what's that? 19 megabytes free. This may be a mistake. 
Oh, there's a good double space on it. Oh, wow. Probably a good idea to switch that off. So I just thought I'd put that up. Interesting. I always love finding these things. Thanks, double space. You rock. 